Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here. Just chilling at home on a beautiful Tuesday morning, trying to get some rest actually. I was out the last four days straight. Had an incredible weekend. Um, it's that time of year, the drum are running, which is what I'm getting ready to show you. Footage from a trip that I did on this past Friday. If you want to get on some of this action, you got another three, four weeks maybe. Um, I am still doing charters. I will be through the rest of the season as far as I can push it, honestly. So if you're interested, hit me up at uh, southernreels.com. You can go up there. You can see all the information, the pricing, book a trip. I'll be glad to take you out and get you on some of these fish. In this video, I left it long form, no editing of any of the catches, so you can really appreciate how much these fish fight. These are trophy fish, you can't keep them. They all gotta go back, but man, I tell you, it's the fish of a lifetime. So, put the link in the description below, southernreels.com, book a trip, come hang out with me. Enjoy. Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here, Southern Reels Fishing, on the water in my boat today, solo. I'm excited about it. I finally got to do some fishing on my own, do some scouting, play around, try some different things. It's a little bit rough still out here. We got a north wind coming in, but it's supposed to die down over the next few hours this afternoon. I, I pretty much plan on being out here till dark. But right now I'm practicing sighting and fishing for bull drum using my live scope. It's something I really haven't ever done much. I've seen them out here while we were sheep set fishing. So I wanted to come out and give it an effort you know, to see if it's practical or not, or just do it the old school way where you just take every violin. So I got a big bucktail right here set up, I'm getting ready to throw out. I think I'll see some on the sonar uh, around some pylons here, and I'm gonna see if I can catch them. So I don't know, let's give it a shot, wish me luck. All right, y'all, I got what I think is some drum just ahead of me here. They're kind of swimming along these pylons, it looks like, if that's what they are. I'm only in 30 foot of water here and I'm kind of chasing them with the boat a little bit, which isn't ideal. And of course, the waves are slapping the boat like crazy, making all kinds of noise. There, there they are. I think that's drum. That's, yeah, see, they're just cruising right along these pylons here. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's some kind of big fish. Kind of closing in on them. Yeah, right up there in the middle of these pylons. All right. Try throwing this bucktail out here. See if maybe they'll bite. Tide's coming in, so I'm just gonna lob it up there. I've done a lot of this jigging for drum from my kayak before. I never really done it from a boat. Usually I would just jig along each set of pylons and work my way down the bridge, but fortunately from a boat, that's a lot of work. Oh, something grabbed it. I think that's a drum. Oh, what the heck? No. The line, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, y'all, that was a good fight for a few seconds. Had an immediate failure, Just snapped the freaking line. I'm still seeing the marks down there, so. Just tied on another big bucktail. I think that's a school of drum. Right there on the sonar, which would be pretty much dead ahead. Oh, dang. As soon as I went to pick it up, I already got one on. Come on, I'm going between that pile and... The keys are super Come on, he's gonna go right in between that pile and I can already feel it wrapped around it. Yep. Yep, he's got me around the pile. See, if I was in my kayak, I would just go right in and go right in there between it behind him. All I can do is try to get up here and get out for a minute. 
solid as that can be. I don't know which one he's around. If I can get out here, get it loose. They do. Hey, straighten the hook out. Hey, at least I kept my rig. Jesus, that's a strong fish to straighten that hook like that. Try that again. fall in the water. I'm not sure if he knows he's hooked yet. I need to get my heavier tackle out for this. Back this way. Oh, well, y'all, this is one of my goals for this trip out was to find some drum. Definitely spotted them with the live scope. That time of year where these fish are readily available on the bridge here they're i mean they're here all year but you pretty much hit and miss around the islands and stuff during the summer this time of year they're all coming out of the bay oh yeah look at that beast readily available i mean i looked around for maybe 10 minutes with the sonar and i found these little pack maybe 15 or 20 of them down there I expected the marks to be bigger than they showed up on the sonar but I'm not used to looking for them so kind of learning come on baby Man, I'm just up here trying to chill with my homies, eat some food before we head out for the trip south. And I got this dang fish pulling on me. Lord, yeah. Yeah. I got you. Thank you. Yep, big boy. Hey there, buddy. Man, thank you. Man, he smacked that book too. I just did have him hooked. His nose. Hey, he's 
shoot, he's only 44 inches. Looks bigger than that, but that's what it is. There you go. All right, folks, mission accomplished. Found some drum. Make sure he's awake. Well, I got him in 30 feet of water, so I mean, he's fine. Here. There he goes. Yep. He's good. Into the depths. Thank you, bro. Woo! <laughs> awesome. All right, y'all. That was pretty fun. We bent my hook straight again. All right. Changed out baits. Something. With a paddle tail. I wanted something chartreuse paddle tail. I don't I don't have anything. This should do the trick though. Much larger bucktail. I can get it down there quick. Yep. That's not what's it. As soon as I can pat it down there, I'm fighting that much. There it goes. <clears throat> Crap, he's under the boot. <clears throat> now he's fighting. Can we get out from under the boot? He went out here and open. Okay. Uh, he's not ready yet. Ah, oh, nice another eight low forties. I'll take him though. big boy just wanted a picture and then you get to go back to your homies take that heavier bucktail I was able to get it down there faster to them because they're hanging right on the backs of these pylons as soon as it hit the bottom he hammered it control the motor come on man come on come on In the net. I got a big old head. There we go. Got you, buddy. Well, this is my brand new net. That's hilarious. So much for that $160 net. Strong my. Oh well. <laughs> Let's get this guy measured back into water. Much stronger hook definitely helped. Alright, just chill out, man. This one here, same thing, 44 inches. Come on, throw it down. You got it. You got it. Alright, dude. 
Give you a push. Ready? Two, three. Uh. Yo. Look at that. These guys are just having a party out here. That's a lot of drum. Pretty much right here underneath of me. Watch this. Bet you as soon as it hits the bottom. Look at that. Not allowed to you. Three jigs. Oh, this one's a little bigger. Why are they going to go under the boats? You gotta be under the boot. These dudes are just hanging out here, mid-span is this bridge. There literally is no structure here at all. I don't know why, I mean, well, obviously the bridge, that's a big piece of structure, but. <laughs> yeah, let me take that former statement back. That didn't make any sense. There he is. All right, come back. Use my other net. Old trusty here. The bolts fell out of it about five times this summer. All right, you good, dude, you good. All right, thank you, brother. It was my fault that net broke actually the way I picked it up, that's dumb. Should've picked it up like this. Lesson learned. Right. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Just ain't a bit. Heck yeah. You ready? Come on, pump it. There you go. I'm back down there too, buddies. Look y'all, them guys are still just hanging right in this area. They are right over there. You know, get a couple more and I don't move on. This thing will kind of wear you out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right underneath me. Watch my jig go down. There's it. Here it goes, watch. Ease it to him. There it goes. You got it. I saw him take it. That is awesome. the boat for some reason. There. 
far enough away from the pylons, I'm good. Like this. God, that's a lot of drum, y'all. There is a massive school right here. That is so cool. Hopefully they're still here this weekend because I got two charters. I would love to get them on this. This, this one is... Oh, shit. A little bigger, I think. Up, big boy. <clears throat> what is up with this reel? <sighs> All right, what side do you want to be on? Make your mind up, right? I see him. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Nice. All right, get him into here. It's a handful by yourself, y'all. Turn your head this way. Oh, this one's drumming. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Damn, your tank. Woo, you're heavy. This one is definitely heavier than those others. These, that's 45 and a half. Harder than that, man. See how pretty thing. You ready? I'm gonna give you a push. See how he goes. Oh man. Incredible. Alrighty, let's see if we can get one more. Just try and pick one off the back of this pile in here. Pretty sure I see one down there. Here we go. As soon as I hit the freaking bottom. Away from the bridge with the motor. Yeah, boy. I ain't. I ain't coming. Come with me. And you had a chance to fight? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the boat position. Alright, yeah, come on. Hey, you're coming up quick. Are you wear yourself right out from the get-go?
There's the bull here. I take them all day. <laughs> Hold on. I'm back this way. Is that what the hell? Is that what is going on? Come here. No, 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 no. You gotta come up here, my last one, I promise. I'm a Trolling motor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hooked him under the net. How in the world? Thank God I didn't get him in the gills. I'm real big on making sure these guys are revived. That's the way I found it though, just to hold them out of the cell upright until they start trying to break free. Shake them. Once they start trying to pump away from you, I'll just give it a good push down and usually they're good. Sometimes it takes up to five minutes to revive them. Yeah, it's a good pump there. Give me one more of those. Come on, dude. You can do it. There he goes. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come up here by these pilings, like on the back of the pilings, and just drift. I, that's like number six. Uh, just a big bucktail and a big, big, like, paddle bait on. They're not picky, they've hit like three different rigs. But yeah, that should work. Yeah, they evaded me for a minute, but I found them. So I'm gonna get one more of these because it's been so long since I caught one. Oh, that noisy engine. Oh, they're right underneath me. Yep, I didn't grab it. All right. All right, motor. Into the middle you go. Oh boy, gonna ask for a better solo trip so far anyway. Love it when I see it, I can drop it right on their head. Yeah, folks. Oh God, I love this. Dude, yet. Come on, buddy. He ain't going to that pile. I know you're thinking that. I got the line to hold you. Come on, big boy. Where's 
Where's my net? It's up there. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little tricky. Man in the net and the boat and the trolling motor and everything himself. Saw him. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. He's trying to shake it loose. Oh, he's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't that trolling motor? No. Gosh. I'm trying to come across him a toilet motor. Come on, buddy. It's a strong one here. Come on, dude. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Come on, come on. This way, turn your head. Turn your head, turn your head. Come on, man. Come on. Whoa, I'm dropping it. All right. Come on over here. Get your head in there. There you go. That's a cooperative little puppy truck. I'm getting better at it, though, handling them. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Incredible fight. Incredible. Your tank. Seems like I would learn to leave my tape measure back here. That one's a 40, 49. Woo, the biggest today. I'm gonna open them gills. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. That's so much fun, y'all. I cannot say how much I love catching those fish. It's the time of year to get them. They're rolling out of here in force right now. The next month is just going to be incredible. Uh, two and a half ounce bucktail. That's all I'm using. You know, it's just a big paddle tail on it. It's all janked up right now, but that's basically what I was throwing. I mean, they're really not picky. It's just a matter of getting it in front of them, jerk baits, anything with some size to it. I do like larger baits, large profiles. And just tackle to get them up, man. You know, of course, 50 pound braid, 50 pound leader. You want to get them up fast. And please take your time when you release these fish to revive them and make sure, you know, that you take care of them since they are a trophy fish. Take a few minutes to revive them and make sure that they'll swim away. It's, it's a big deal, please. Anyway, that's it for this part of the trip. I'm gonna go do some other stuff. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, that was a blast, y'all. Peace out.